morning and welcome to Eagles Nest Live for your AHS Morning News. Hello, I'm Kinsey. And I'm Tyler, and we're here to provide you with the news for today, Thursday, February 25th. Today is Recycling Day. Miss Roberts' students will be picking up recyclable materials during first period. They will not knock on your door requesting the bins, so please place your blue bins outside the classroom door at this time. Attention tennis team, there is no practice today. Also, the girls' tennis team players need to see Miss Misty Berry in the front office for uniform sizing sometime today. Today is the last day to purchase tickets for Saturday's homecoming dance. Tickets are $5 each and no tickets will be sold Friday. So today is your last chance to purchase your homecoming tickets for Saturday night's dance from 8 to 11. Attention anyone who is interested in joining the wrestling team. Lifting, conditioning, and open mat begins March 14th. I hope to see you then. Morning today. This is FFA week. I'm sporting my camo and we want to say great. And thank you FFA for the lunch for the teachers. Remind that that will be served today. I can't wait for all the food. But I would like to say to seniors, today during mission time, you are to go straight to the auditorium. We have a guest speaker. Please make sure you're listening because it's about money. And speaking of money, I have a couple of announcements that I would like to make. So, to the juniors and sophomores, please listening because this young lady is going to receive from the University of Kentucky $10,000 a year. I'm, I'm going to say it again, $10,000 a year. Cynthia Arnold. Receive the presidential scholarship, ten thousand a year for over four years. That's forty thousand dollars. That is wonderful. It's more than I make. Brescia University has re has awarded another young lady, Taryn Ferguson. It's Ooh. awesome. She received the, uh, received the Ursuline scholarship once again. Now listen to this. Taryn just got ten thousand dollars a year for that Ursuline scholarship, and that's forty thousand dollars a year. Taryn, Cynthia. I mean, this is wonderful. Tremendous. Alyssa Nichols was rewarded a Founders Scholarship from Brescia University for $6,000. Hmm, $10,000 a year, $6,000 a year, that's a lot of money. Academics, awesome. So Alyssa gets $24,000 for four years. And then Kentucky Wesleyan also offered Alyssa another academic scholarship for $5,000. I just want to know what they're going to do with all this money because I think it's tremendous. And then Tess Elder, she received $20,000. $3,000 a year from Bellarmine. I know, isn't that awesome? My daughter's going there and it costs $56,000 a year for her program. So Tess Elder, $23,500 to be exact. It is absolutely incredible. And Leanne Tooley, once again, I'm impressed with these people. $10,000 a year from Brescia University for four years, $40,000. We're talking about millions of dollars with just these six girls. It's impressive. So. Seniors, get your scholarships in. I'll see you in the auditorium. Have a great day. Thanks, FFA. You rock. There will be an FBLA meeting only for members competing at regionals this Friday, February 26th, during fifth period in Ms. Spa's room, room 410. Hey, students. I'm here with Mr. Owens, and we need a big favor. Yes, Debbie BKR is hosting a contest, Best Mascot in West KY. And as of five minutes ago, we are in seventh place, which is, which is extremely unacceptable. We are behind Henderson County, Hancock County, Ohio County, OHS, several other schools. So we're trying to reach the top spot because today is the last day to vote. So here's what we need you to do. We need you to open your laptops right now right and make now. sure that you click on this link and vote for Apollo's mascot because Apollo's mascot is the best mascot. Do it right now. Go to www.debbybkr.com, click best mascot link and vote for Apollo. You can only vote one time a day, so it counts your vote, and then voting ends tonight at midnight. So we are at 5%, I think, and Hancock County is at 21%. So we have a lot of catching up to do. So if our entire student body votes, there's our votes. So thank you. Attention students and teachers, Club Picture Day is this Friday, February 26th. 
The Apollo Junior ROTC program will be hosting drill competitions this Saturday morning starting at 8.30. Admission is free and concessions will be available. We encourage all Apollo students and faculty to come out and support our ROTC Eagle Elite drill team. There will be a Thespian Society meeting this morning during mission time. Please meet in Ms. Barry's room. Attention juniors, the ACT will be administered to you on Tuesday, March 1st from 8 a.m. until noon. Please bring your calculator, pencils, and a photo ID, ID to your testing room in the 400s on Tuesday. All ACT rosters will be posted in the guidance window by tomorrow morning. You will start the day with a free breakfast in the commons area. Please get a good night's rest and come prepare to do your best on this college entrance test. Hi, my name is Nico, and this is Sarah, and we're members of the Apollo FFA. And we just want to let you know that um, we have an FFA meeting tomorrow in first period. It's Carhartt Day and Drive Your Tractor to School Day. So we want to let you all know to be careful in the mornings because of the tractors. And all week we've been having a canned food drive, and we hadn't gotten that many cans, so if you could bring a canned food item, that would be great. And tomorrow we are having an FFA meeting, and if you could bring a canned food item before you come, that would be great. On today's lunch menu in the Mama's Kitchen line, we will be having Salisbury steak or ribs, baked potato, broccoli, squash, roll, fruit choice, and pudding. In the Global Fair line, Alfredo bar or pizza, broccoli, Caesar salad, fruit choice, breadstick, and pudding. In the sandwich line, a choice of cheeseburger, pork chop salad, chicken, peanut butter and jelly, fries, veggies and dip, baked beans, fruit choice, and pudding. In the southern salad line, sub bar or chef salad, fruit choice, <coughs> veggies and dip, and pudding. We'd like to wish the, uh, all students good luck in their co-curricular activities. And don't forget that as a part of FFA week, tomorrow is America and Cook for Teachers Day. Good morning, faculty, staff, and students. I uh, hope your Thursday has started off well. Uh, I'm glad we're here. I know there's been a little speculation through the week that weather may be bad enough uh, early today, early this morning, that <coughs> wouldn't be here. We are. That's great. I um, want to remind you a few things, or follow up, I should say. They talked about ACT next Tuesday, March the 1st. Just to give you some reference of what will be going on. Freshmen. You will be in the uh, 200s and 700s. Uh, all the information I'm getting ready to tell you, specifics will be on the guidance window tomorrow. But freshmen, you'll be in 200s and 700s. You will be taking the reading portion of the ACT. That will give us a, a, a measuring stick about where you're at, what we need to do to help you moving through the rest of this year and certainly in to next year. Sophomores, you will be taking the math portion of the ACT. You'll be in the 300 circle um, and then our uh, excuse me, juniors, you'll be seniors next year. Our, our juniors, you will be in the 400s taking the actual ACT, which will compare you to every junior across the state of Kentucky. Uh, and I have said recently many times, you know, we all know we're a distinguished high school. ACT, your junior ACT factors in to that uh, designation of that category. We, Apollo, deserve where we're at at this point. We want to maintain that. We don't ever want to slip back on anything. So uh, we want to maintain that, and if, if nothing else, uh, or at the minimum, move forward in our school score. So juniors, that ACT test is very important to you personally because uh, that ACT continues to increasingly become more and more important to your future. Uh, whether you're going to college or even getting a job, uh, the workplace is starting to look at the ACT more and more. So uh, it is vital that you give your best effort for yourself, first and foremost. And then secondary to that, it, is, it allows Apollo to establish itself the way that we all know, and that is as an excellent high school, a distinguished high school. So we want you doing very, very well. Um, on that day, freshmen and sophomores, you will be going to your scheduling meeting with Mr. Johnson after you take your portion of the ACT, uh, either reading or math. And then juniors, what you will be doing, obviously, is ACT that morning. We're going to provide lunch for you down in the gym lobby. You'll have time in the, in the gym or, if weather permits, next Tuesday, even let you go outside for a while. You'll come back in towards the end of fourth period, and then during fifth period, you'll go to your scheduling fair 
uh, with Mr. Johnson and, and our other guidance counselors in the uh, auditorium. So that's the day uh, ahead. Dance this weekend, as we know, we sold tickets yesterday. We'll be selling tickets again today. Just a reminder, it is a semi-formal dance, so it's not the prom, but you're not allowed to come with jeans on, young men or young women. Uh, you're supposed to wear either khakis, dress shirt, those type of things. Uh, young ladies, the, the, I guess the norm is you're wearing a dress of some kind, uh, so make sure it's appropriate. Young men, make sure what you're wearing is appropriate. Um, just a reminder, you, you, you probably don't agree with me, think I'm old, old uh, stuck in my ways, traditional, but we're not going to allow you to dance front to back. Just know that right now. Uh, if you're seen, you'll get one warning, second one, sorry, but your night will end quickly because that's not acceptable. Um, it's, uh, in my eyes, just uh, inappropriate, okay? So uh, just know that going into it. We want you to have fun, we want you to enjoy it, but we're gonna do things uh, hopefully the right way. Okay, that's all that I have. Birthdays today, Jalen Applegate, Skylar Heidenreich, Katie Thomas, Savannah Travis, and Hayden Wilson. So we wish those students a very happy birthday. Let's have a great day, make great decisions, okay, in the classroom, in the hallways, during lunch, before school, after school, make great decisions. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you. Please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.